26 years ago, John Paul II gave the world's young people this same cross. Carissimi giovani, al termine dell'anno santo, affida a voi il segno stesso di quest'anno giubilare, la croce di Cristo. Portatela nel mondo come segno dell'amore del Signore Gesù per l'umanità e annunciata a tutti che solo in Cristo, morto e risorto, c'è salvezza e redenzione. Since then, the cross has been kept in the Centro San Lorenzo here in Rome. It's the World Youth Day Cross, which during the year prior to the international meeting, tours the country in which the celebrations will be held. Now it can be found in Spain. As a traveling cross, it's also been to places where there's been suffering. This cross had been at Ground Zero in 2001, after September 11th. The cross was in the U.S. because it was on its way to Toronto for the 2002 World Youth Day. The Pontifical Council for the Laity in 2009 also had young people take it to the areas affected by the earthquake in L'Aquila. From east to west and north to south, this cross has traveled all over the world. Those bearing the cross can receive a special plenary indulgence granted by the Pope. But the cross does not travel alone. Next to it is the icon of the Virgin Mary, the Salus Populi Romani, also a gift of John Paul II. It's a copy of one of the oldest icons in the West. The icon of World Youth Day, Maria Salus Populi Romani, is always on pilgrimage together with the cross to show young people the support of Mary, who is the mother of young people. The cross and icon both are symbols of hope and a great help for their future. A cross and an icon, two gifts that Pope John Paul II gave to young people which are now traveling to Spain in anticipation of the great gathering of Madrid 2011.